A Wrinkle in Time is based on the award-winning 1962 novel that's a fixture in grade school classrooms. I've been familiar with the book for a long time, but didn't read it growing up. After seeing this Disney film adaptation, I consider that a blessing. Ava DuVernay is the talented director of the 2014 Oscar-winning Martin Luther King Jr. biopic Selma and 2016's acclaimed documentary 13th. She pours heart and soul into every project, often relying on tight close-ups and emotional dramatic performances. The rare calm moments in A Wrinkle in Time, mostly quiet conversations between just two characters, are excellent. It's nearly everything else in the film that simply doesn't work. Physicist Alex Murray, played by Chris Pine and his scientist wife, study cutting-edge theories of extra dimensions and the secrets of the universe. The couple has a daughter, Meg, and they're about to adopt a boy, Charles Wallace. Flash forward four years, and we learn that Alex has been missing all of that time. He just mysteriously vanished, and the smart but troubled now high school student Meg is starting to believe he's never coming back. But then, three spirits arrive. Mrs. What's It, played by Reese Witherspoon, Mrs. Who, Mindy Kaling, and the equivalent of Mother Earth, Mrs. Witch. She's played by who else but Oprah. They tell Meg and her brother that their father isn't dead, but trapped in space in another dimension. The spirits take Meg, Charles Wallace, and Meg's classmate Calvin on an epic journey across the galaxy to find Alex and bring him home. While this may have worked on the page, too much of a wrinkle in time is so out there and so bizarre that it's difficult to take the majority of this movie seriously. One scene early on has Witherspoon spinning around in a field like Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music. All her clothes come off, the kids literally cover their eyes, and she transforms into a combination of a female jolly green giant and a flying leaf woman. The kids hop on board, and as they're flying, Charles Wallace holds out his hand and rubs the cheek of an enormous 15-story tall Oprah. It's both kooky and comical. Later on, Charles Wallace, young Derek McCabe gets more screen time than anyone, is consumed by evil spirits, becoming a junior Hannibal Lecter, producing some mind-boggling moments. Ultimately, A Wrinkle in Time works way too hard to make its basic points about forgiveness, family, and the power of love. And even with all the elaborate visuals and the attempts at making a contemporary political statement, it all feels dated. The look is impressive, the costumes and set designs are appropriately extravagant, and Zach Galifianakis as a seer drops in for one of the best dramatic scenes of his career but the rest of the performances are unconvincing, even for a fantasy. Overall, there's not nearly enough here to recommend taking this journey, and this film is especially not appropriate for younger kids. It's a pretty intense PG. Even the target 10- to 12-year-old demo and their parents may be creeped out by the 150-foot Oprah. Who wouldn't be? On the official LCJ report card, A Wrinkle in Time gets a C-. I'm Lights Camera Jackson for all of my reviews. Check out lights-camera-jackson.com and follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews.